Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Yuzu Emulator and their newest Canary build which was released as you can see 7 hours ago which allows Super Mario Odyssey not only to boot into its menus, boot into game but also to render 3D graphics. So first of all, we're going to need to download this, you will also find this download page down in the description of this video. I'm simply going to be extracting it to a folder of its own using 7-zip and here we go, let's drag this to the center of our window and there is our Yuzu Canary EXE. So all we have to do is run this, I don't need to run it as administrator or anything and there you go. You can now see all of the games that are being picked up from my title directory. Okay, so let's come to emulation, configure, and you can see you can change all the different games list options from this window, but we're mostly interested in general for now. So for this game, at the minute, you need to enable multi-core, and I'm not sure if you need to enable docked mode or not, I'm just going to leave it on for now and click OK. So next, let's click on Super Mario Odyssey, boot it, and see exactly what happens. And there we go, we have Super Mario Odyssey booting into the input reminder screen on Yuzu Emulator. So performance wise we're getting, what are we getting, like 78, 77 FPS? This is going to be dramatically lower when we actually get into the menus of the game itself. And there we go, as you can hear in the background, even though there is slightly buggy audio in Yuzu, we are now booted into the continue screen on Super Mario Odyssey for the Nintendo Switch itself. Now obviously, since this is one of the first few builds that is actually booting Super Mario Odyssey, the render quality isn't going to be absolutely fantastic. You can see that practically all of the graphics are all Virtus exploded. We can come to these other menus, this is like the two player menu, but where we want to go is come to our options menu, we want to come to data management, select our save file, and these are the different saves. So this is my currently in play save, I'm simply going to select it and select OK to load into game. So hopefully this will work first time and we won't have to um, boot Yuzu over and over and over again to get this to go into game because sometimes it will just crash due to a unhandled exception or something like that but hopefully it will work this time. Is it going to load into game? It looks like and there we go. So this is Super Mario Odyssey booting in a Yuzu emulator in game and rendering 3D graphics for the very first time. Okay, so what I'm going to try to do is try to actually move around and do some jumping actions just so you can see that while the sound is slightly buggy, you can hear that when we jump with Mario, it does actually trigger all of the sounds and sound is working correctly, even though we are running at like two, three, four and five FPS. So what I want to do is I want to open the screenshot functionality on the Nintendo Switch just so we can show you some actual render graphics. It'll allow me to use the filters and show you exactly what kind of the state of the graphics are and exactly why we're getting these weird black flashes on screen. So let's just jump. I'm going to throw Cappy out there and then I'm going to try to get into the screenshot menu. Okay, so this is proving to be more difficult than I thought at first due to the fact that it's not registering my inputs because the frame rate is so low. So let's just keep trying to do this. So jump, let's throw Cappy. Come on, register the throw, register the throw. No, it still won't do it. Okay, just bear with me. This will work. This will work, and we'll be able to see. We'll be able to see some stuff. Come on, Mario, throw happy. And there we go. We finally got it to register the input. So basically, what you have to do is, I just jumped. I pressed. So it, it will be Y on your Switch controller, or I'm using a PS4 controller and then you press down on your d-pad and it brings up this screenshot menu and then you can use left and right on your d-pad to switch between the different filters. So as you can see, this the, using these different filters we can actually get a much more accurate rep representation of exactly what and how graphics are being rendered in Super Mario Odyssey on Yuzu. So you can see that the Odyssey ship itself is slightly, <laughs> slightly properly rendered but uh, the uh, balloon isn't exactly correctly rendered. You can see that there is Mario and there is Cappy and there is Sand Kingdom itself. So that's pretty much how you want, that, that's pre, this is pretty much the state. You can see that all of the verses on Mario himself and on lots of the 
interactable world is com- are completely exploded. For anyone who's been keeping an eye on either Yuzu or Ryujing, the other Switch emulator, there was a very similar circumstance with this kind of situation in One Piece Unlimited World Red. And after about four to five days, they figured out what was causing the versus explosions and they fixed it. So you can see that this, uh, that this issue has happened before and it will most likely be fixed fairly quickly. Now, I'm not saying they're going to be fixing the rendered 3D graphics and they're going to be fixing the lighting and going to be fixing everything within weeks or days, but when it comes to Switch emulation and emulation in general, we can only base future experiences on past ones. And when we look at past experiences with practically all of the games that have booted and rendered graphics, they have generally fixed them within several days or minimum of two to three weeks. So yeah, we're just going to have to keep our eyes peeled on the progress of these kind of 3D render graphics and hopefully in the coming days, weeks and months we will have a semi-playable at least Super Mario Odyssey experience on Yuzu emulator itself. So if you want to support these guys you will find a link to their Patreon down in the description of this video. Down there you will also find a link not only to their website to download this build that this game is currently booting and running in, but you will also find a link to their Discord if you want to hop on over there and ask them some questions in relation to either development or how you can dump your games from your Switch or just anything in general. I'll also include a link to my own Discord. You can just hop on over there, say hello to me, ask me any questions you want about this emulator or any other emulators that I cover on the channel. So yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to... Uh, show you guys in this video. It's quite exciting to be honest. I'm very uh, I'm very happy that Super Mario Odyssey is now rendering and booting and it's just awesome to see this kind of progress in a very experimental emulator like this. So once again guys, cheers for checking out the video. Remember to like it if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, and as always, subscribe to the channel if you want to see all future videos from me.